everybody to Brew Review University. I am your host Jennifer along with my sleeping co-host Donnie who needs to wake up at the moment. Kids, if you are not 21 or of drinking age, it's time for you to go to bed now. Do something else, what have you. So as we start the show, what? class two. Class is in session. I thought you wanted to finish You didn't show even quicker. let me say what I needed to say. But anyways, on today's episode... We are bringing you beers exclusive from <laughs> Lazy Dog Beer Club. That's so what I was, a lazy dog right now oh, on the, that's what on the table. Okay, well let's just jump right into it. What do you have first? <clears throat> hey, what we're going to do first is from... Let's do Second Chance Brewing. Woohoo, Second Chance. <laughs> so, with this beer, um, the the funny thing is, is well, not even the funny thing. Let me show you, or let me show everyone what you get when you join Lazy Dogs Beer Club. Uh, first of all, you get this cool little carrying case that has all your beers in it. Okay. So, and then you get the glass. You get a uh, nice little glass here. It looks like a 12 ouncer for the, that matches the set. And then you also get this cool little booklet here that describes the beers you're getting in your little kit. So, you get two of each. You get uh, two, four, six, eight beers in this little Lazy Dog Beer Club uh, little set, I guess. But anyway, um, it'll cost you about, what was it? I, I think it was $30 to $35. It was about $35. Yeah, something like that per month. Well, not quarter. even per month. It's a, a quarter. quarter. Yeah, it's um, it's not as often it, <coughs> as I'd probably like. <coughs> <coughs> I have no idea what I'm Anyways, calling. and yeah, here's one of the glasses that... We got before. It says the greatest show on earth over here, Lazy Dog Beer Club. So these are cool little glasses that you get every quarter with those. That's uh. Whew. Thank God for my urban water because I was choking there. Goodness gracious. So anyway, we're gonna start out with uh, Second Chance Brewing. I'm gonna look them up in my little book here um, that they give you with this kit. This is called the Sterling Pooch. It is a seven, and it describes everything about this beer. It's a seven point zero ABV the IBU and this is 24 it's a 16 ounce can this is a Scottish style ale um, the hops in this are Golding's ingredients crystal Munich uh, roasted barley um, the cool little thing about this is it actually shows you who owns the brewery or I should say the CEO of the brewery and the co-founders and we've actually met Virginia from Second Chance yeah. Uh, just very we cool. love Virginia. Yeah, she's very yeah. nice. Very, very cool. nice. We'll talk to you. So, so I'm interested to see what this one is because we don't get a lot of second chance out here because they don't have the distribution. So the only way we can get it is if we go to the brewery. Yeah. So it's nice to finally have something new from them. Yeah. So fyi virginia you can call jen she'd probably distribute that for you out here <laughs> just bring it all to my house I'm just here. <laughs> so maybe you need a new distributor out here i don't know you know who knows but anyway this is the can here i'm going to spin this around so you can kind of take a good look at the can kind of cool you know you have the scottish dog there um but this month's or this quarter's thing is a superheroes, um, superheroes kind of thing here that you can see, and this book tells you basically about everything of the beers. So, anyway, on Untapped, um, this second chance beer rates a three point seven five. So, did I tell you what it was? Oh yeah, Scottish Ale. Yeah, it's Scottish Ale. Scottish Ale. So, anyway, let's do this. It smells good. Smell. You ready? Yeah, but I can't think of what that is off the top. Cause I'm used to knowing what is in it. 
it almost tastes like a, it almost smells like a, the aroma. It says raisin and dark cherry. Okay, so let me go a little bit into this. The feel of this is a medium to full body. The look, and I'm reading this right out of the book. <laughs> I'm reading this right out of the book that they give you with Lazy Dog. The look is clear, deep brown with red hues. The smell is raisin and dark cherry. Taste, mm. molasses and toasted nuts. The pairings, which is the food pairings with this, would be chili Beef stew, roasted acorn, and squash. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. The aroma is different than the taste. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna, well, I, I already I, did it, but it's. For me, it's it's typical Scottish ale, which is which is what it should be, because that's what it's described as. So, what did what did you? I know, but for me, the aroma was more appealing than the taste, and I hate to say that because I love second chance. But it I don't drink this. I don't drink the style beer. It, it, it so. is what it is. I mean, you you everybody has their different palate, and uh, you know you you're just saying what you what you thought of it. So. I know, but again, I don't drink, I don't drink this style beer. I definitely do get that that raisiny slash dark cherry. I'm not sure I'm getting the dark cherry, but I definitely do get the raisiny for sure with the Scottish the Scottish ale taste. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, what is the next one? Mm, let's do this one. I'm, let's see. Let's let's find this in the book here. Belgian the Conqueror. So let's take a look at this real quick. You want to know a fun fact while you're looking for that? Absolutely. <laughs> the first Lazy Dog location opened in Huntington Beach in 2003. Wow. Yeah, they've been around for a little bit. There you go, Huntington Beach. Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting pour there. Kind of looks like a lager. What'd you say it was called? This is called Belgian the Conqueror. So, put that there. Show you this here. And uh, there you go. That's kind of what that looks like there. But let me tell you a little bit about this beer. This is a 7.9 ABV. The IBU in this is 25 to 27, which I actually like that fact that they, they say 25 to 27 because... It usually always seems like it's a specific amount with a lot of people, you know. Yeah, but is two going to matter? No, not a whole lot. <laughs> uh, this is a Belgian-style pale strong ale, a.k.a. a Belgian triple. Um, hops in this are Styrian, Golding, and Saiz, which... Saiz is a... They use that a lot in Czech pills, Czech pilsners. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, ingredients in this are Belgian two row malt, yeast, uh, H2O, and love. Okay, that's a little dramatic there, but you know. Did it say love? It says love. <laughs> <laughs> it does say love, which. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. You know, this show, this show is all about love. <laughs> That's what I said too. <laughs> anyway, we already had that Valentine's show. The sweetness <laughs> and the love left a long time ago. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> this is like our relationship. It's all about beer. Now. This is like our relationship, honey. Smooth texture <laughs> with a mild effervescence. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The effervescence. <laughs> 
The look of this is clear, a golden straw. The smell is yeast, sweet malts, French countryside, apricots. Taste, sweet bread-like biscuits, multi-grain crackers, apricots, balance. Uh, gosh, I think that's a made-up word. Herba, herbus. I have no idea what this says. You guys are going to have to join the Lazy Dog Beer Club to even find out what this word is. It's a uh, herbicious. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, pairings for this are farm fresh, soft cheeses, sourdough breads, mild sausages, and grapes. Too bad we didn't have food up here with us. So, uh, anyway, this is from Ritual Brewing. And this rates a 3.65 on untapped. All right, so, try let's try it. Let's see what happens. I'm not getting, uh, it says, it says apricots, but I'm not really getting apricots off the top. I'm not time to wait for you anymore, but. It's not my style of beer. It's definitely interesting. Um, it has a different taste than I've ever tasted it before. It's definitely interesting. It reminds me a little bit of a like a like a a saison, like a saison type beer. Yeah. And uh, yep. it's it's definitely leans toward that side of the saison type beer, even though it says it's Belgian. Um, it's definitely different. Um, Gosh, it's a variety of beer for sure so far, even in these just two starting beers. Yeah. So, let's move on. Let's gonna... move on. Would you like to know when the beer club launched? Lazy Dog Beer Club? Yep. <laughs> that would be very interesting. It launched October 1st, 2018. Wow. Because we're on the 13th. Yeah, I think I've got... This is the 13th. I probably have five or six glasses now. Five or six, right? I probably have five or six now. Yep. Of these particular beers. All right, uh, so what you got next? Let's do the harshest out of the... Why well, I say the harshest because... I thought you were saving that. <sighs> okay. Do you want to do the harshest, or do you want to do the what I actually had a few days ago? Alright, whatever. Surprise me. <laughs> you know how I like surprises around here. Not. Okay, so let's go through our little book here. And we're going to go with El Mar Maracumen? <laughs> Say it right. Maracumen? And what does that mean? I have no idea There's... what that means. Oh, okay. El Maracumen. Let me look at the can. Is that like just, a wrestler or something? Just pour it and I'll Google it. <laughs> you, yeah. Do what you need to do and I'll look it up. I can tell you that I actually really like this one. When I was at the brewery, not, not at the brewery, at uh, Lazy Dog not too many days ago. How do you spell it? M-A-R-A-C-U-M-A-N. There we go. That's that. So let me tell you a little bit about this Uh this beer here. This is a 4.5 ABV, 20 IBU. Uh, the style of this is a wheat ale with passion fruit, which when I had it a few days ago, I thought, man, this is really good and reminds me a lot of mango cart, but just with passion fruit. I mean, it just, it was just the same exact thing, just with passion fruit. 
So anyway, they use Centennial hops in Amarillo. The ingredients of this are Pilsner malts, wheat, Munich, passion fruit. Feel light body, easy drinking. Um, the look is light straw color with a hazy smell. Tropical mango and passion fruit. Taste, passion fruit, forward, crisp, refreshing. Uh, pairings with this would be zesty seafood. And I, I like the fact that in this little book, they give you what it would pair with. And for the beer connoisseur slash, if you're eating at Lazy Dog, you kind of want to know what it pairs with, with Lazy Dog. So I do like the fact that they mention this one pairs with zesty seafood dishes like ceviche and ar argua chile. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I do also like the fact that this brewery is uh, Casa Humilde. Humilde? Oh, goodness gracious. Casa Humilde. I'm not sure what that is. Um, brewery. But the head brewery, I, I, just, I do want to mention the head brewer is Francisco Rodriguez and also Javier Lopez. So just... Just throwing that out there that this actually is the two head brewers are of Hispanic origin and they do basically follow what they preach, you know. So let's uh, let's do this. Do this. You didn't even give me mine. Including the. Uh, it's uh, not that one. I guess so. <laughs> oh, because I was googling stuff for you. <laughs> Putting the uh, the Mexican wrestler on the front of the can, kind of cool. I didn't find any useful information. Yeah, definitely passion fruit forward off the top for sure. I don't know what passion fruit smells like, so but there yeah. is a distinct aroma coming off the top. No passion fruit. It's definitely passion fruit forward off the top. That's it's definitely what I get. Um, this rates at three point six zero on Untapped. And uh, this brewery is out of Chicago, Illinois. I didn't try it. Yeah, it's a passion fruit. That's delicious. That is delicious. Yeah, it's passion fruit through and through. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I like that a lot. It would be a good, that would definitely be a good summer drink. Light summer drink. Yeah. What I didn't mention is that Ritual is out of Redlands, California. Hmm. Just fun. just so you guys know who, where that brewery is from. Um, since I mentioned where every other brewery is, we'll yeah, mention that Ritual is from Redlands, California. Uh-oh. Yeah. Jen's looking. Jen sees something. I know, because I see the elephant, and the elephant is Melbourne, so is that not a Well, collab? no... Uh, basically, for Lazy Dog, uh, Melvin does work with Lazy Dog in basically brewing, uh, basically recreating the beers for certain breweries. Mm -hmm. So Melvin Brewing, um, gosh, I forget where, oh, they're out of Alpine, Wyoming. Um, but yeah, they, we've had... Melvin Brewing on before, on the show before, and yeah. they do, their beers are fantastic, but they do do a lot of special uh, collaborations or remakings of beer for Lazy Dog, which oh, is kind of, kind of nice. I was just surprised to see that on there. Yeah, so, and it, and it was funny as you even noticed that, which is, um... We 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 actually we love Melvin. On no, our... we actually love Melvin Brewing. Melvin Brewing does a great job with a lot of different beers that we have. So, anyway, this list last beer. Let's finish this up here. We have got um, the last one. It's called. Let's go through here. Let's go through our little book. I think this was the first one. All right. So while he's going through his book, so if you happen to do the Lazy Dog um, Beer Club. You do get the eight beers quarterly, which is two of uh, 
each beer. You also get, if you go into eat in the restaurants, uh, if you order a 16 ounce beer, you get a 22 ounce for the 16 ounce price. So you get a discount on there. And if it's really busy, make sure you show them your number because you get priority seating. So yeah, you don't have to wait in line or nothing. That always works for me because I hate waiting around. <laughs> Yes, priority seating, <laughs> priority seating is awesome, you yeah, know. But that's so. what you, that's all I have for that. But that's what you get. Yeah, absolutely, and it does. We belong to both. We belong to Lazy Dog Beer Club, and we also belong to BJ's Beer Club. Uh, I'm not sure if it's called that. BJ's Brewery, oh, no, BJ's Pizzeria Beer Club. I don't, I don't know what it is, but. Anyway, this show is about Lazy Dog, and we will explain to you what BJ's does for you at a later date. But Lazy Dog, um, this last beer is called Pal Zappa, and this is from Craft House Brewing. They are out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is a West Coast IPA. ABV in this is 6.8. IBU is 85. Wow, 85? It says 85. So oh, we'll see. We'll see if it's an 85. Snap. You know. I, is that what you gave me right here? That's that's what I gave you right there, lady. So the, uh, the hops in this are Idaho 7. Idaho 7. You know. <laughs> Calypso's. And Zappa. So ingredients, Pilsner malt, flake oats, flake barley, American ale yeast. The feel is crisp and snappy. The look is crystal clear. Smell grass and lemon peel. Uh, taste refreshing rescue from all the tropical haze. So pairings in this. And which is kind of interesting because I was, we were there just last week and I thought to myself, do I want some sort of uh, Asian uh, food with my with my lunch? And I, I immediately thought about the pad thai, you know. And this one actually does say this pairings is kung pao bowl, bacon wrap, hot dog, and onion rings. <laughs> So, you know, that would make me feel that maybe I would have had the, the pad thai with this one. I would have had onion rings. <laughs> so, onion rings with a side of ranch. So, kind of cool little gig. You know, they, they do little things in this book and explain what beers you're getting in their club, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, and you get the cool glasses. So. Yeah, you get a cool glass every quarter. Uh, with your kit, and you get the cool little box here that they come in. All all four beers come in this little deal here, and uh, it's it's four beers, eight to each. So waiting for you. Try this. I know. I'm just trying to clear my palate from the serving water here, real quick. Thanks again, George. We appreciate you at Urban Water and uh, Sunny also at Urban Water. So let's do this. Got a tropical hit off the top. Mm. Yeah, 85 IBU is definitely present. Yeah, definitely present a, a big bitter hit on the uh, definitely forward and backside. Um, it's just not my type. If you're a no. if you're a hoppy type person who who likes that hoppy hit, definitely for you. You know. Um, no, not for me. Nope. Whew. Yeah, that is definitely very hoppy. Very hoppy. So, anyway, let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the beers from Lazy Dog uh, Beer Club. So, we want you to be on our podcast. If you're an artist, a musician, a brewery, or just your average show or average Jane, we would love to have you uh, come on our show. 
You can showcase your talents. We can do an episode exclusive of just your beers here in the studio or on location. If you're an average Joe, you can sit up here and give your inputs uh, on the beers that we're having, which is always a lot of fun. And hey, you get free beer. But make sure you guys are subscribed on YouTube. That way you get notified of our weekly episodes that drop. And make sure you are following us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We do five weekly beer reviews on Instagram and Facebook, so you want to check those out. You might uh, find something that you like, but uh, that's all I got for this episode. That's all I got, too. So as we end this class, we want you to raise your glass and cheers. Cheers. See you next time.